Across the country, doomsday preppers train for nuclear catastrophe. This is tensions between the U.S. and North Korea grow increasingly more aggressive. In Chattanooga, some people are practicing for a different but scary kind of possibility. Allison Levine shows us how. Allison. Kevin Latricia Sequoia nuclear plant began operating in Saudi Daisy in 1981 and since then no evacuations have been ordered of those living within a 10 mile radius of the plant. That fact not stopping safety officials from preparing for the worst case scenario. Reactors tripped. Reactors tripped. Turbine tripped. Turbine is tripped. As sirens sound and lights flash. Chaos in this cavernous room of the Sequoia nuclear plant. In the midst of the drill, Matt Leonard's calmly directs his crew. Trip the reactor. Every problem handled methodically. Chuck, Terry Turbine LCVs open. Yes, Terry Turbine LCVs are open. Terry Turbine LCVs are open. Then the lights go off. The sirens silenced. So what we just saw here is what we would do in a training session. Each button and lever, a simulation of the plant's control room. And we try to make sure that it responds as close as we can possibly make it to how the, the plant responds. Five to six weeks out of the year, control room operators run different scenarios here. And we do that so that the training here, they're ready for what happens in the control room. Upstairs, the plant safety manager introduces tools for the event the real flashing lights and sirens can't be turned off. If you live within the 10 mile emergency planning zone, we send you a calendar. Inside, evacuation routes, shelter locations, and plant functions. Oh, I keep it on my desk, and so it's the calendar I use every day. Nearly 20 years ago, Sandra Jordan and her husband built their house right next to the plant. We like the area and we and we like the schools. And despite a clear view of cooling towers from her front porch, Sandra doesn't mind the proximity. We don't ever pay any attention to it, to tell you the truth. Officials told us today that both plant units are operating at 100% power. That generates 2,400 carbon me free megawatts. That's enough energy to power 1.3 million homes. Calvin. Thanks, Allison. And if you're within a 10 mile radius of the plant and you did not receive a calendar, you can find a link to the plant's website at newschannel9.com.